Hobleware Pro gives you the ability to import text files from third-party sensors and measurements and allows you to plot that data in Hobleware, use all Hobleware's tools that are available with the exception of most of the data assistance, and then lets you save that as a Hobo project file. Hobleware Pro, however, is, is quite um, picky as far as how it needs that file to be formatted. And that's um, spelled out in the Hobleware Pro user's guide, so it's important that you, you look at that. Right now, I'm going to show you how to do it with a, uh, a properly formatted text file. So if, to import a file into Hobleware Pro, or if you wanted to use this, for example, this is a file, a barometric pressure data file. You could use this for your barometric compensation for your U20s. Um, they have to meet the same criteria for using that um, barometric compensation tool or the salinity assistant. Um, or the dissolved oxygen assistant if you're going to use barometric data for your percent saturation. They have to be formatted so they can be imported into Hobleware Pro correctly first before you can even try to use them. So I have a file already set. So to import a file, you say file, import text file. There's my text file. Open it. You'll get the text import information. Don't, don't change any of these separator values unless you're having problems with it click on OK and this is where uh, again um, there's not any description information in this third party text file so it doesn't know what it is so you could you can type in a description you could put in a serial number you could select what kind of logger it came from etc you can also change the units if you want here and click on OK and then you get the same dialog uh, plot setup dialog box as you would with any other data file. Notice that because we have temperature available, we have the growing degree days assistant available. We also have the linear scaling assistant available. You cannot use the barometric compensation assistant on this pressure channel low. Uh, text files are not supported by that data assistant. It has to be a an original .hobo file. Once you have a U20 dot hobo file open you can use a text file for the barometric compensation but not as the raw uh, in situ pressure um, data click plot and there's my my imported text file again it looks a lot like a hobo file the only way to save this is you have to save it uh, as a project and then this will be retained and you can open it up in hoboware every time without having to import it each time I wanted to show you what this file look, looks like, this text file. So let's go to that folder. There it is, barometricpressure.txt. If you want to open this, I would recommend opening it in a text editor, not in Excel. If you open this in Excel, Excel may change the formatting so that it can't be re-imported. That's been my experience. So if you need to, and again, we don't advocate changing data values or anything like that, but if you wanted to, you certainly could with a text file. You can't do that with a, with a raw data file. We don't give you the ability to do that. So if I right-click on this, again, this is a Windows computer, click on Open With and open it with Notepad, there's my data. That's how it's formatted for import. So if I wanted to change a value in here, let's just for for fun, let's change one of my battery readings to 10, 10 volts. Save that. And now let's try importing it. We'll close this file, import text file, plot it. And again, it works fine. There's my big spike, my 10 volt value right there. Things that Hoboware do not, does not handle well as far as importing is concerned is incorrect file headers, blank fields, trailing empty fields. So if you're very diligent to make sure there are no empty data fields 
it'll handle zero values, okay, but empty cells, if you will, it doesn't handle that. It'll it'll stop. So if you're having problems with it, what I would say to do is open a regular hobo file that you can open in Hoboware and then set your export preferences to use classic settings, export that data file, and then compare how that's formatted to how you have your uh, file that you're trying to import that you're having problems with. Compare those two. Make the one you're trying exactly as the other one, format it the other way, and you'll have a whole lot better luck.